Hello and welcome to CVPR 2020. My name is Fayaz and I would like to present our work on capturing cellular topology in multi-gigapixel pathology images. What you see on your screen is a hematoxylin and eosin stained whole slide image of breast tissue from a cancer patient. Such images are used in clinical practice for diagnosis and prognosis of cancer. The tissue is scanned digitally at high resolution resulting in very large 80,000 by 80,000 pixel images. One can zoom in into these images to reveal different types of details of the tissue. For example, you can see individual cells or nuclei, the organization and topology of different components and the relationship in the tissue is of great importance as pathologists use it to determine diagnosis and course of treatment. In this work, we have worked on using whole slide image data for developing a machine learning model that can determine whether a cancer patient is positive or negative for certain types of receptors called HER2 and ER. The receptor status of a patient is crucial in determining effective treatment options. Typically, it is not possible for pathologists to use these images for determining receptor status and specialized additional tests are required. The predictive value of using H and E stained whole slide images for this purpose is being realized and the development of machine learning methods for various diagnostic problems in computational pathology in general is a very active area of research. Due to the large size of the image and its associated computational complexity, classical methods in this domain work by extracting image patches and training convolutional neural networks for prediction. However, such methods may not be able to capture visual context and tissue organization for all computational pathology problems. Furthermore, aggregation of individual patch level predictions into slide level labels is also a major issue. We have developed a novel method we call slide graph that overcomes these challenges by modeling a whole slide image as a single graph and using graph neural networks for prediction. This is the workflow of the proposed method. We begin by localizing and classifying individual nuclei in the whole slide image. We then perform spatial clustering of these nuclei and model each cluster as a node in the, whole, in the slide graph. We associate cluster level features with each node based on its nuclear organization. Each node is connected to its neighboring nodes to capture possible tissue signaling mechanisms. The slide graph representation of a whole slide image is then used for classification through a graph isomorphic neural network. For nuclear detection, segmentation, and classification, we use our in-house deep learning based method called HoverNet that generates individual nuclear level predictions. We detect and classify nuclei using HoverNet in the whole slide image and then use it, uh, use a modified hierarchical clustering method with different distance constraints to perform special clustering of nuclei. Each cluster is considered as a node and is connected through Delaunay triangulation to its nearest clusters to model tissue level signaling mechanisms. We extract features for each cluster based on its nuclear composition. Here you can see a whole slide level graph or slide graph with false coloring over nodes representative of their nuclear composition. As you can see, this modeling approach enables us to identify different types of cellular communities. Those are clusters in different groups you see on your screens which enables receptor prediction downstream. Here is another slide graph. We found that slide graph allows good visual discrimination between positive, top, and negative cases by showing different components or tissue regions that are active in different, different types of receptor positive or negative cases. We then use a graph isomorphic neural network to generate slide level predictions directly from the slide graph. This thus overcoming the aggregation problem faced by convolution, uh, conventional approaches. We tested the proposed method over a cohort of 709 whole slide images from the Cancer Genome Atlas. We compared the predictive performance of slide graph with the recently published method and our in-house implementation of another classical approach that offered better results than the first method. Our cross-validation analysis shows that the proposed method is able to generalize well in comparison to existing methods and gives better predictions. To conclude, we have developed a method for capturing cellular topology in whole slide images which can be applied to other problems in this and related domains. Thank you.